Hey everybody, I was helping one of my buddies today with a problem that he was having with having some unexplained misses to the left at longer distances. And a lot of these problems come from people that don't quite have the confidence at the longer distances or they're trying to watch those arrows hit the target. A common problem is wanting to drop that bow hand and drop the release hand in order to watch that arrow go and the natural movement is down or down and away with the bow or with your release hand if you quit it's down and out like this which sends that string left and then strings it sends a string to the right and then through the bow to the left sends the arrows left dropping the bow arm to the left is going to give you those left misses and the other thing is you don't want to just come out away from the face. As soon as that release fires, some people get in the habit of hitting their trigger and just coming out like this. You don't want to do that as well. You want to focus on, for me, I'm going to focus on driving that elbow right back towards that camera. And as soon as my release fires, I'm going to mentally think about contracting my bicep so that I pull my release hand over the top of my shoulder and properly follow through. It lets the string go perfectly down the center of the bow and your release hand to come back and away, give you great clearance and way better arrow flight. So let me go ahead and since it's nice and cloudy, send a long shot down to 80. Perfect, and I'll go ahead and might as well stick one right in that bear quick. But again, follow through, pull through with that arm, contract the bicep. Perfect. 